What is going on, bros and broesses? It is Paul here from Dramar Productions, bringing you guys another video today. And today, guys, this is going to be episode two of how to grow on YouTube. And now, you guys may not have known, um, I actually only just thought of it today, that my previous how to grow on YouTube and my YouTube history was pretty short and not much in-depth information. So I thought, you know what, I'll make another episode for it and basically give you guys some more information and some things that you guys um, may want to know and may need. But anyway guys, first of all I'm going to be speaking about the game capture for maybe Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. Now basically I use um, the Hapug, Hapug is it? I'm some, some, yeah I think it's that. <laughs> um, HDP VR, casual just HDP VR. And that records in the 720p, and that's all I really need. So I just use that, and it's absolutely fine. It's brilliant for me. I never have usually any problems apart from when my TV messes up, but that is just my TV being my TV because it's usually always annoying. Um, there is also the Hapug HDP VR2 that can now record in 1080p, which you record using a HDMI cable so you can plug into the HDMI cable into your Xbox and it's 1080p with the HDMI cable so you will be recording in 1080p as well as the Elgato gaming that is very very slim that's the other difference between all of these the Hapug HDP VRs are averagely the same size and they are quite quite chunky Um, kind of just a maybe just a bit bigger than half the size of an Xbox 360 slim so it is actually pretty big but the Elgato game capture records in 1080p and is very very small so it's handy to take around if you're taking it somewhere if you're on the on the go and you want to record somewhere else then you can just plug it all out really simple HDMI leads USB leads really simple and let's, lastly, there is the Roxio game capture. There is many different ones. There is just the normal one that is actually only records in 480p that I did used to have that I would not recommend buying. They do actually sell it on the website for something like $100 that is kind of, kind of outrageous in a way when you guys think of it because it's 480p. But you can get the um, gaming edition or something like that too. And basically it records, I think either 720p or 1080p so it is pretty good now i'm not sure the prices on that i'll leave the prices in the description with the links to where you can try and get them the cheapest and yeah so now guys i'm going to go from game capturing xbox 360 to from to playstation 3 to the sort of sound recording things you guys may want to use now first of all what i use my blue snowball it is very clear as you guys can hopefully tell from this commentary and it always works never any problems with me just simple usb plug-in and very simple you don't really need instructions for it it's just simple works and it is brilliant for a few guys in america it's going to be about 70 dollars and it's actually 50 pounds here in england now lastly for no sorry not lastly why am i saying lastly Next is the Blue Yeti. That is very sensitive mic. That is that's quite expensive. That's something like 100 to 150 pounds. That is quite expensive for a microphone, but for the quality that you get in it, it is actually pretty pretty good and worth the money that you guys may spend on buying one of them. Now, if you guys are going to be doing maybe with a f four of you doing a co um like a co-op let's play kind of thing with four of your friends or something, then this will be the one to get because this is very sensitive, picks up a lot of the sound going on, and it can really help out for you guys that are doing those sort of recordings and game videos. And now I'm going to go on to the PC game recorders. As I use is Fraps. Fraps is very good. I usually use to record, for example, maybe Minecraft or very simple games like that and that really does work for me, I like the way that you can choose your settings, turn on and off game audio, or you can just record plain just gameplay and just your voice and it just has a few little different settings and you can change the FPS so it is pretty good, very simple to use and you guys can pick that up on the internet somewhere. Nextly is Dextery. This is what I use to record high quality games such as Call of Duty, Battlefield 3 
and Left for Dead. Those it is great recording. Never get any frame drops. It's it's magnificent in a way. I would use this for Minecraft, but personally, I would rather use Fraps because I've always been homed with Fraps on Minecraft. And yeah, it it's just that's the way that I do it. And to be honest, there's no problem with it. But I just prefer to use Fraps for Minecraft because it opens the exact same kind of as Dextery. But it's just I just use Fraps for that. And lastly, if you guys are doing any screen recording for maybe Happy Wheels, Surgeon Simulator, or any games that are in windowed mode or is a browser client game, then you will be wanting to probably use either Bandicam that um, records in either whatever resolution your monitor is, maybe 1080p, but usually 720p, very good, and it does come out with not really much lag, as well as Camtasia Studio 8 that I actually use to render, that is very good, the program is altogether very simple to use, not much, well, sorry, not much things that you can really get confused about, very simple, and if you guys really want to get that, then I'd really recommend too. Very fast rendering, and it's altogether, the settings that you can change on it is pretty awesome. And bros, that's all I can tell you for this episode. I will bring, be bringing out another episode soon, probably within the next week or two. If you guys want that to come faster, be sure to smash that like button. As soon as I get 20 likes, I'll be working on it and I'll bring it out as soon as I can. But anyway guys, if I have missed anything, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try and respond to you as fast as I can. And just before I do go bros, this is a gameplay of me. On my first ever game on the map, Encore, this is a pretty good map, I really did enjoy this map, and this was my first ever good gameplay with the, what is the gun, MK48. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, if you want to leave a like on this video, that would be really awesome, and if you want to share this out on Facebook and Twitter, that would mean a lot to me, but yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode, or my next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! As well bros, if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos daily, and be sure to hit that video in the middle of the screen if you have not seen it. Great.